Hi. In this episode of Growing Your Sense of Self Through Self-Defense, I'm going to present an exercise for you to do, a non-physical exercise, that's a good way to both measure and strengthen your self-love. And this exercise comes in uh, multiple steps. And it has to do with sort of self-talk and sometimes other talk. I would like you to do the following. First, just do this in your mind. Don't, don't have to say anything out loud, but just think this phrase. I am a wonderful and beautiful person, and I love who I am. In a matter-of-fact way, just as you might say, you know, my name is, my age is, I live at, as, as, fa it's as factually true as any of those things are, that I am a wonderful and beautiful person, and I love who I am. Say that in your head, if you can. It's... it's Maybe not surprising, but a large number of people really struggle with that. And, and maybe there's some cultural things like you shouldn't be saying that stuff about yourself. Well, if you can't say it about yourself, who the hell can? Sorry, who the heck can? So do that step until it's comfortable, until you're comfortable saying it. Not that you're forcing it, not that you're, I'm going to be on the phone, be on the phone. You know, that you're not confident in it, but in your mind, say it until you are confident. And it may take a while. I know people, it takes weeks, sometimes months to get to that point. Once you're comfortable with saying that, and so this is also a measure, right? If, if you say, that's a hard step for me to do. That's pretty revealing about where, where you stand with your sense of self-love. That's important to know. You don't have to share this with anyone, but it is important for you to know. And then you can see what kind of progress you make from that state. Then the next step is, to say that same phrase, but say it aloud with nobody present. I mean, it could be a dog or something, but say it so that the words bounce off the walls and come back to your ears and you hear yourself saying those words. I am a wonderful and beautiful person and I love who I am. You know, in a weighty, confident way that it's true, as, as true as anything I know is true. To get to that point. Once you've been able to reach that, uh, achieve that goal, then the third step is to stand in front of a mirror and say it to yourself, eye to eye, and look in that mirror and say to yourself, I am a wonderful and beautiful person, and I love who I am. It's a big achievement if you can get to that point when you, if you were struggling at the very first point. Then the fourth step is to go to somebody else that you're choosing, uh, a spouse, a child, a parent, or whatever, dearest friend, and say to that other person, I am a wonderful and beautiful person, and I love who I am. And you might get some kind of a funny response from them. You can explain what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it. Uh, but that's the next step in this, in this list. Let's see if you can get to that point. Then the fifth and last of the steps of this exercise is to say that same thing to somebody who's largely a stranger. You know, get on an elevator with the guy or something. No, it doesn't have to be that much of a stranger, but you get introduced and in relatively short order, you can share that with them. I'm a wonderful and beautiful person and I love who I am. If you remember an earlier exercise, I suggested you, you uh, talk something special about who you are, you know, at your core, something about how, how honest you are or how or caring you are, or whatever it is that you find pride in and you're willing to share that with others. Well, this is something to find pride in and share with others. Again, for cultural norm reasons, people might be taken aback. What the heck? Where's that coming from? Uh, and you can explain it, uh, that, that, that this is why, this is something that you're doing, it's part of an exercise that you're doing. And then people may or may not get it, that's okay. Uh, you, you did your due diligence. You did your exercise. You shared why you did your exercise. And people, they don't have to respond in a particular way. That's their freedom to choose to respond however they respond. But what you did would be a good thing. And it would be sharing with them something positive, an exercise perhaps, that they may consider doing at some point. So that's the exercise. As always, they're optional. It, this one may take a while to do. People that I know have done this successfully. Sometimes they take months to get to that last point. But geez, what a difference when they get to that point. 
there's a blossoming of a flower when you get to that point. So, good luck with it. Take care. Thanks for being here. Kamsamida. Toodles.